Hello, everyone, and welcome to Georgetown University School of Continuing Studies. At today's event, we're going to provide you with important information that will help you decide your future continuing education uh, at Georgetown and how we can help you in career development. I'm joined today by three of my colleagues. Dr. Lisa Andrews, Director of Integrated Career Development. Julia McGinn, Associate Director for Enrollment Management. L. Sachs, Assistant Director of Professional Development and Certificate Programs at Georgetown University. And over the next few minutes, we're gonna cover four basic subject areas. The flexibility of our offerings, career development, the learning experience here at Georgetown School of Continuing Studies, and how we design the learning environment specifically for your success. So let's begin, the flexibility of offerings. We know that there are three challenges to any adult learner returning to the classroom. The first is time. You live very busy lives. Uh, you have a profession, you may have one, maybe two jobs, you have a family, you have a personal life, and then how to take on additional time to study. The second is the challenge of accessibility. Again, leaving your home, driving into a campus, the time, the transportation, uh, how is that possible? Many of you may have jobs that you do quite a bit of traveling. So the challenge of accessibility is uh, at forefront here at Georgetown. And then finally, cost. Uh, again, the cost of education is not inexpensive, but it is one of the best investments you will ever make. So I will turn to Julia. <laughs> As we, as you talk to prospective learners who call in uh, and want to know more about enrollment, we have time, accessibility, and cost. Can you share with us some of how the questions that they ask and what you tell them? Absolutely. We get quite a few questions about the time that might be required for a certificate program or even just a course. Most students love the online flexibility. Uh, we also have virtual sessions where it's in a Zoom classroom. We do our best to emulate the feel and uh, learning experience of an in-person course just by going through Zoom, so no need to commute to DC. We do also have some in-person courses, uh, and they are held in our downtown DC campus where we are right now at 640 Massachusetts Avenue. You can get to us on the Metro for that accessibility. But the flexibility of the online courses is really what they love. A lot of students say they spend maybe an hour a day on these programs and the asynchronous versions, which is where it's self-paced, self-motivated and deadline based. Uh, those are the most popular options we have and definitely the most prolific of uh, how many courses we offer in that modality. Second is the cost. We are competitively priced for many of our programs. Um, you'll see that the instructors and the, the quality of education you're getting for a lot of these short-term certificates, many of which can be completed in less than three months, uh, is incredibly well-priced, uh, far less expensive than a full master's if that's what you were looking to go for later on. And then, of course, um, what was the final one that you wanted to talk about? Uh, you covered it. Time, accessibility, and cost. Oh, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> but but let's, again, let's explore that a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I think what's really interesting, Julia, is that even though we're located in the center of Washington, D.C., given the different modalities and options that are offered to professional learners, last year we had students attending courses from 46 states, the District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, and 18 different uh, countries internationally. So we really attract a global audience to our Absolutely. Classrooms. And I think a lot of people for the online versions of these where you don't have to log in at a certain time or even be logged in for a certain number of hours, that's what attracts people from all different time zones or countries. Um, but even if you're within the DC driving limit, the online option has been incredibly popular. And I think, what was it, 30% of the students for some of these online courses were within a drivable radius of DC. And it's just the flexibility that they love. One last thing, let's talk about the portfolio of offerings. Yes. We offer over 28 certificates over a broad range of skill sets and domains. Tell us a little bit about that. Sure. So over those 28 certificates, we have several that you have to apply to and get in. They have incredible 
portfolio building capstone projects for these. We try to be application based for a lot of these programs. You're going to walk away with something that you can bring to a job um, interview and say, look what I did with this program. This can be applied directly to the workplace. We offer across several different fields, including business. We have executive programs, uh, health, education, and policy, uh, quite a few in the social impact field. And then, of course, the marketing and communications track as well. But over all of those different buckets of fields, we have 28 certificates to choose from. Um, and you can certainly mix and match with your certificates if you choose, and many of which can be completed again in under three months. But you're welcome to spread out your courses up to over up to two years, if you wish, just to keep it even more flexible. You mentioned capstone. We're going to come back to that in just a little bit, because that is such an important aspect of the way we design our certificates. But we'll move on. Let's talk about career development. Dr. Andrews, welcome to Georgetown. Uh, Dr. Andrews uh, just recently joined us. And the reason she just recently joined us is because we recognize one of the key student support services that we can offer our students is career development. In fact, Non-credit professional education at Georgetown University School of Continuing Studies is one of the first in the United States to have a dedicated professional to help you in your career development because our students tell us the two reasons they come to the School of Continuing Studies and take our certificates are one, they want to advance in their current career, and two, they may be exploring a jump into a new career. So. Welcome. Welcome to Georgetown. Welcome Thank to you. this conversation today. Uh, tell us a little bit about the services that you are providing our students. And in a more broader aspect, tell us about what's happening in the workforce. There seems to be a tremendous change and evolution since uh, the pandemic. Yeah, definitely, Jeff. Thank you. So one of the cornerstones of the career development services that we offer here at Georgetown is one-on-one -on -one coaching. And that is offered to our data science learners, our data analytics learners, our digital marketing strategies learners, as well as our finance for non-financial management learners. And that is where you and I will work together one-on-one, -on -one, of course, on a variety of career development topics. It could be your resume, it could be your LinkedIn profile, it could be salary negotiations, uh, it could be job search. It could be any number of topics, depending on where you are in your career development. As Jeff mentioned, many of you may be seeking a new career, so a job search strategy might be in order. Many of you may be seeking a promotion, so we can talk about how to talk to your boss about leveraging your certificate to gain a promotion. And so one-on-one -on -one coaching is really the keystone for those four uh, programs. Um, we do hope to expand the career coaching to other certificates as well in the future. But what's open to all students as well are uh, workshops. So I'll be offering a series of professional development workshops on a variety of career development topics from resume writing to cover letters, salary negotiation again. So we can cover that one-on-one, -on -one, but what's open to all students are also the workshop formats, uh, which will cover a lot of these career development topics. In addition, I always tell people, my colleagues have heard this from me millions of times, that you should chase people, not jobs. And in doing so, I would like to connect you with your network. So that means employers and that means alumni. When you join Georgetown, you're joining an amazing group of very successful alumni. Uh, I'm going to give you access to those alumni with uh, employer events, alumni events that will help you connect with them, learn a little bit more about the field, about different employers, about what our alumni have done with their certificates, and how you can then leverage your own certificate as well. Also open to all students is a curated jobs database called Handshake. Uh, the employers on Handshake have stepped forward and said, we want to hire Georgetown students. So you will have access to that database as well. In terms of the value of a certificate, certainly the world of work has most definitely changed. Uh, and I think one of the big things that has changed is that competition has grown even more over the years. And since COVID, employers are really kind of begging for people with skills that can evolve, especially when it comes to the digital world. So 
taking a certificate can really build your resume and uh, make you competitive in the workforce because there are a lot of people applying out there. So this gives you an edge that you can use uh, to advance your career or even advance in your own position. So you're enhancing your skills, uh, you're building your uh, your cadre in the market and your Make taking a step that's really going to advance you as a person and as a person in your career development as well. Lisa, there's one point you made, and I really want to emphasize that to our prospective learners who are joining us today. You know, they have many options as to where to continue their professional Mm -hmm. studies. As they carefully look at their options and make this very important life decision, it's important that they know that here at Georgetown, Unlike many other institutions, you may say, do we have career development? Yes, here are some PDFs. Here are some recorded videos. You, in these workshops, they're going to be live Mm -hmm. as well as recorded. You you offer live career development. So that is the differentiator. Mm -hmm. Here at Georgetown, we believe in personal connections. And the fact, if you do come to us, you will have Dr. Andrews to help you because one of the reasons that you're coming here is exactly what she offers. And that is career development. 20 years of expertise. Is that correct? (laughs) Uh, Sure. (laughs) And of course, I started when I was 10. Of course. But anyway, this is a, a key factor as the way we support you your success. Now, let's talk about supporting success. So you will speak with enrollment services when you need more information, what certificate, what modalities. And then after you matriculate or register into the certificate, uh, you will then then be supported by L Sachs, who is the assistant director. L, students come in. Uh, they may not have been in the classroom for years, maybe decades. They're coming back. There's a little trepidation. Uh, where do I get the information? How am I supported? <coughs> Excuse me. Where do I find my grades? Tell us a little bit how you support student success once they're registered. Thank you so much, Jeff. Absolutely. So once students register, I am kind of the entity as assistant director who is working behind the scenes to make sure that all of the pieces of the course are ready to go um, from in preparing the instructors to making sure that the Canvas courses are ready to go. And I also focus on student communication. So as Jeff mentioned, we do have many students coming into our certificate programs who maybe have never taken a um, certificate program at Georgetown before and who maybe have not been in the adult learning environment in quite a long time. So we spend a good deal of effort making sure that everybody is um, feeling welcomed and also has all the necessary information that they need to be successful. And that spans from technological assistance to, um, again, communication management, making sure that students know when and where to be, whether it be online or in an, on an on, in-person, um, on-ground course. And then once the students are matriculated into the course, I am the resource as far as grades and um, any sort of student question related to the course once it has begun underway. I also work as a resource for the instructors. So I believe that you know by preparing the instructors, making sure that they are 100% successful in their positions, they can ensure that the students reach success 100%. So that's just a brief rundown of um, some of the many little tasks that I do on a daily basis. And I would also just like to reiterate that I am here as a resource for students. If they have any sort of question, um, you know, anything really, how do I log into Canvas? How do I update my password? And that's just the continued support that PDC um, really strives to achieve for all our students. And we hope to see you soon on campus or virtually. Thank you so much, Jeff. Elle, you made a very good point. And I think we need to explore this just for a minute or two. Many of the people joining us today have not been in the classroom for a long time. They have met, may never have taken uh, an, uh, an online course or a classroom or a virtual learning course. And they're thinking, will I fit in? Will I have the support? Can I transition from the learning experience I had many years ago as an undergraduate or graduate 
to this new modality. And I think the point that you have made here is there are many support services. We are supporting their complete journey from the time they uh, meet with the enrollment to the time they request their Georgetown certificate. Mm-hmm. And I think that's really important. And then, of course, in between uh, is the uh, Lisa Andrews, who comes in and does career development for up to a year mm-hmm. after they attend. So I think that is a key aspect of how we focus on supporting your success from the first conversation to the completion of the certificate and also maintaining that relationship after the last day of class. Let's talk a little bit more about that. Learning, designing the learning environment. We spend a great deal of time, research, resources in intentionally designing the learning environment. In fact, our tagline that we have introduced is certificates designed with your future in mind. And this is so true. Uh, When we look at an established certificate and know it's time to evolve the curriculum, when we bring a new curriculum in, we do so within the framework of what is best for our students so that they can achieve what they need to achieve in their professional and personal lives. So let's talk a little bit more about designing uh, the learning environment. Uh, We have an expert team of instructional designers here at the School of Continuing Study that work with our subject matter experts. Now, what is a subject matter expert? So if you are taking project management, data science, data analytics, uh, uh, finance, we go out and we identify faculty who are experts. Again, our faculty are practitioners in their field as well as outstanding teachers. And they are contracted to come in and work with our instructional designers. And it is a very meticulous and lengthy process as to what learning outcomes are really needed. Because we don't want these courses to be too long. Uh, We don't wanna throw in electives as you did as an undergraduate because we have to respect your time. And we want to give you an intensive, highly focused experience that has been uh, designed intentionally with the input of subject matter experts, faculty, other students, industry, as well as our instructional designers. I'm gonna go back to you, Julia. Mm -hmm. Uh, Again, how do you convey that to our students about how we intentionally create these learning environments and different modalities? Yes. Part of that flexibility and part of why we schedule the, the courses the way we do and the programs the way we do is I like how you said it. It's it's efficient. We get you the most amount of education from our subject matter experts in an amount of time that you can immediately apply it to your job or a future job or a future new job um, with uh, Dr. Andrew's help. So for one of my favorite parts about our programs is that there's a capstone project for almost all of our programs that is normally portfolio-based, something that you could attach to a resume or bring to a job interview to say, look what I did with this program. Um, They are applicable across fields, especially for things like project management. Uh, And it's something that you can take away immediately and within the span of just a few months and sometimes even just a few weeks with some of our, our smaller programs. I promised the audience that we'd come back to that uh, capstone and thank you for bringing it up. (laughs) The capstone experience in so many of our certificates is so important because it is proof of knowledge. It's proof of concept. And we have heard over and over again from our graduates that they have gone into interviews and they say, look at my project. This is what you can see how I applied. It's applied knowledge. And that is so important, is it not, in an interview situation? Absolutely. And I would also add that a project is something you can add to your resume as well. It's it's experience. Uh, you know, you're working on real world problems, and that's what employers are looking for, applied knowledge um, that you can use right away. So as Jeff mentioned earlier, as Julia mentioned, 
um, you know, these programs are short term. So you can start right away using that knowledge and using that project experience. You don't have to wait a couple of years to do a master's program. You can really uh, launch your career right away. I think another aspect of the experience at Georgetown University in the classroom is the instructor student connections. Our classes are not large MOOC classes. We deliberately keep our class size in most instances to 24 less students. Why do we do this? Why do we do this at Georgetown? Why are we not going 40, 50, 60, 100 people like so many other classes? And the reason is we understand that that dialogue, that engagement between our faculty members and you, the professional learner, is so important because, again, these are practitioners. They're bringing in information from the field that is current. Uh, you enter into a dialogue. Again, as, an, as, as a professional learner, remember, we understand you bring maybe years of experience into the classroom. You bring perspectives. So we don't have the sage on the stage. We understand that you are an essential part and contribute to the lear your learning and the learning of the entire class. And, and I think that's so important. And I think that differentiates the professional adult learner, let's say, from the undergraduate student. Absolutely. And all these courses are taught at a graduate level. Um, Again, as Jeff said, many people are coming in here with 5, 10, 20 plus years of experience, and we want to treat you as though you have that. This is incredibly important for both your success as a student and how you connect with the people in your class. Uh, some people do have hesitations about the online environment, especially with things like networking. And I have sat in on quite a few of these courses, and I can tell you with perfect confidence that it comes so organically this connection, this networking that uh, happens within the classroom and the online environment, people want to connect and you're in good company with the people that uh, uh, come into these programs with you. I, I would like to share with everyone, uh, going back a few years to March uh, 2020, at, at really the beginning of the pandemic. And now you know I'm looking at you at this. Uh, up until that time, many of our classes were held in the classroom and literally overnight, uh, the university as well as most universities, in fact, high schools, everything literally changed on Friday, March 13th. And uh, we transitioned immediately. And of course, we we kept going. Our professional learners were able to complete their certificates. But L, we learned a lot. And we changed the way we delivered. We understood and we focused on the health of our professional learners online. Would you like to talk a little bit about that? Because you yeah. were so integral to that process as to develop new methodologies and to work with the faculty to make this transition successful, which you, again Jeff, goes to that. today. Absolutely. So like Jeff said, when you know the school shut down because of COVID, within a matter of days, we had to switch classes to an online format. And there was a lot of panic, to be quite frank, um, in that time, because people were just so uncertain about the future. So it was very important that Jeff and I made sure that our instructors were 100% supported again, to make sure that they could support the students. Jeff and I met individually with each of our 50 to 60 instructors of that semester to make sure that they were ready to go in an online format and to gauge how prepared they were to teach online. We also created some wellness slides for students that um, incorporated healthy behaviors to participate in while in a Zoom room for four to five hours. So we encourage people to stay active and to stay focused on their mental health and their mental well-being, as well as um, the learning experience, which was, of course, the main purpose of the program. But we also wanted to create an environment where people felt like they were welcomed, where they were safe, and where they knew what to expect, and at the end, where they would move on with success in their futures. And that is core to what we believe at Georgetown University, and it exists today and it will exist in the future. You know, respect for our learners, support of our teachers and learners, because we know successful teaching leads to successful learning. And another core uh, belief here at Georgetown University is cure personalis, care of the whole person. And again, we deliberately now 
uh, three years later have learned a lot. Uh, we learned that sitting in front of a screen is not the experience you want. It's not the best experience. So we identify highly engaged, active learning in our classes. And I'm, I'm very proud to say, I think uh, that we are really at the forefront Absolutely. of designing engaged, active learning where the individual in the classroom is recognized. So if you're thinking, do I fit? Do I fit in this environment? You, you know that you're coming into an environment where you are respected. What you bring to the class is valued. You're part of the learning experience. And we care. We care about the whole student. We care about your future with career support. We care about the steps leading up to matriculation, registration in the classes. And once you're in, we have uh, L and just a whole team of individuals to support your success. Because our job here is to create certificates for your future and to support your success. Any other comments? I think we've covered a lot of ground here in a few minutes. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Do we have any questions from our audience today? And we do have some coming in, but I also see that we are at our time limit. Uh, we will be getting back to everyone. And again, let me say thank you so much for the time that you spent with us today. We know you're very busy. Uh, we hope we answered most of your questions. And more importantly, we hope that when you sit down tonight or tomorrow and you carefully reflect on, should I continue my studies? What should I study and where should I study? That you look at the advantages that Georgetown can offer you. Small class size, practitioners in the classroom, a high level of respect and care for your learning success as well as your future success. We hope to see you here at Georgetown and we hope you have a great day.